Good evening, and thanks for tuning in. My name is John Bechtel, National Chair of the Communist Party USA, and welcome to our response to the State of the Union address. Our country and world are at a crossroads. Both humanity and nature face existential crises. We face a climate catastrophe and an escalating nuclear war danger. We are at a crossroads where a few billionaires concentrate extraordinary wealth while millions of working class families barely make ends meet. Despite Donald Trump's rosy numbers tonight, 40% of workers are outside of the workforce, the most in our nation's history. Many have given up looking for work. Where youth are mired in mountains of college debt, where African-American and native youth and other youth of color face generational unemployment and where social inequality has grown. We are at a crossroads facing the most corrupt presidential administration in our history, a crossroads where democracy and the truth are under daily assault and where the danger of fascism has grown. Where ch children fear that they will be slaughtered in their classrooms by a, by a gunman. These things are truly frightening. Yet Trump's speech tonight tried to instill fear of a different sort, a nightmare of hordes of Mexicans, Salvadorans, Guatemalans, and Hondurans overrunning our border with crime, violence, and drugs. Trump is lying about every, just about every aspect of the border crisis and immigration. And for that matter, he lied about just about everything else tonight, and I'm sure the fact checkers will be very busy all night and, and tomorrow. In reality, these are our working class brothers and sisters and their children and infants. They are refugees desperately fleeing violence rooted in US corporate exploitation and militarization. Victorina Morales was seated in the audience tonight listening to Trump. She is one of 11 million undocumented workers in this country. She worked for years at one of the Trump properties, making his bed and washing his clothes. She barely earned enough to raise her family while he enriched himself. Victorina Morales spoke out against Trump's hypocrisy and she and her co-workers who were also undocumented were fired. We, the American people, will not turn our backs on Victorina Morales. In November 2018, a majority of Americans voted to reject Trump's anti-working class, anti-people, and anti-planet agenda. The political landscape in the country has shifted dramatically. Coast to coast, women, people of color, trade unionists, socialists, and grassroots activists were elected to champion the urgent issues facing our nation. Drawing upon our greatest revolutionary ideals, Americans increasingly embrace diversity, equality, and solidarity. We are one multiracial working class, native and foreign born, men and women, gay and straight, united in the recognition that an injury to one is an injury to all. Trump's border wall is a symbol of white supremacy and anti-immigrant hate and racism and is aimed at dividing the American people. The expulsion of our immigrant brothers and sisters, tear gassing of refugees, separation of families and caging of children is inhuman and immoral. Trump's government shutdown over the wall was an assault on democracy, the role of government and public workers. 800,000 federal employees were forced to go without paychecks. Millions were denied vital government services and public safety was endangered. Again, Trump lost because the overwhelming majority of the American people and their Democratic elected officials were united to oppose the shutdown and the wall. And because air traffic controllers, 
TSA agents, food inspectors, and other government employees and their unions took matters into their own hands and stopped going to work. Trump is becoming more dangerous the more he loses. He is becoming more desperate as the Mueller investigation challenges the very legitimacy of his presidency. By fostering a coup in Venezuela to overthrow an elected government and threatening regime change in Cuba, Nicaragua, and Iran, the Trump administration and its extreme right-wing corporate backers are endangering world peace, democratic rights, and national sovereignty of other nation, of other countries. Most people, with a notable exception of Trump, were outraged by foreign intervention in the 2016 elections. We should be equally outraged when the U.S. interferes in the internal affairs of other countries. We won't cooperate with this agenda. By declaring a trade war with China, he is threatening an economic crisis and destabilization of the global economy. We won't cooperate with that agenda. And he and the military and fossil fuel corporations are endangering the entire planet by sparking a new nuclear arms race with Russia, pursuing a $2 trillion nuclear modernization, the weaponization of space, and withdrawing from the Paris Climate Accords. We will not cooperate with that agenda. A majority of Americans reject these pro-corporate and anti-working class policies. Instead, they are responding to a new people's agenda that matches the immense challenges we face. This agenda includes a new green deal, a green new deal to transition to a green demilitarized economy, to build a modern infrastructure and employ millions at union wages with affirmative action. Uh, the new people's agenda includes immigration reform with a path to citizenship, Medicare for all that makes health care a right, a health care system that guarantees reproductive rights and addresses the opioid crisis caused by the pharmaceutical industry. It includes full equality based on race, gender, and sexual identity and orientation. Free, universal, free university tuition and the cancellation of all student debt. Gun control, including universal background checks and the banning of assault weapons. The elimination of the electoral college, an end of voter suppression, and gerrymandering, and the removal of corporate money from politics, taxing the rich, and a radical redistribution of wealth and income, a peaceful foreign policy, respect for national sovereignty, and global cooperation to solve global crises. Yes, we are at a crossroads, and this agenda can unite people in a powerful movement to oust Trump and the GOP and their corporate backers from Congress, governorships, state legislatures in 2020. And by electing in their place a progressive oriented government at every level, the door can open to a new era of struggle that puts people and nature before corporate profits, where the working class and people can govern, where a green collaborative peaceful socialist society, a full economic and political democracy and equality can be built. So thanks for listening. We want to hear your thoughts too. Together, we can build a better world. Good night.